Hey everyone, in this video tutorial we are going to solve the diff 21 example in the Java warm-up 1 section of coningbat.com. Let's get started. What we have is given an int n, return the absolute difference between n and 21, except return double the absolute difference if n is over 21. So basically what absolute difference means is how far away is n from 21. So if it's 20, it's 1 away from 21, and if it's 19, it's 2. Alright, so let's write this out really quick. We want to return the absolute difference between n between n and 21 only if n is less than or equal to 21. I know it's less than or equal to because it says except to return the double if n is over 21, but that doesn't mean it's equal to. So let's write that case out. Return absolute difference times 2 between n and 21 if n is greater than 21. So this just looks like an if statement to me. So what we're going to do is write our if statement. And we're going to do the if n is less than or equal to 21. What do we need to do? We need to return 21 minus n to get how far away n is from 21. 21 minus n. That will return the difference between them. And it'll always be positive because n is always going to be less than or equal to 21. And then if n is greater than 21, what we want to do is return twice the absolute difference. So what we're going to do is return two times, and this time we're going to do n minus 21, because that'll always give us a positive value as well, because n will be greater than 21. Let's check this out and see if it works. Hey, it works. There is an optimization we can make, though. Just like in the last tutorial, we can use the conditional operator to make this a one-line answer. What we're going to do is type return, then we have our test we need to do. And what we're going to test for is if n is less than or equal to 21. Then we put a question mark. And what that means is, let's execute this coming code. If n is less than or equal to 21 is true. So what do we want to do? Same thing in the last. We want to return 21 minus n. Then we put a colon. And then what are we going to do if that evaluates to false? We're going to do 2 times n minus 21. Let's see if that works. Oh, it works. Everything's correct. All right, that's it for this tutorial. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.